What's going on YouTube? Today's video is going to be on cut shots. To practice your cut shot, get an object ball and place it on the first diamond on the long rail and the first diamond on the short rail. Get another object ball and place it on the second diamond on the long rail and the first diamond on the short rail. And you have your third ball, it's going to be on your third diamond on the long rail and the first diamond on the short rail. Where your cue ball is going to be at, it's going to be the opposite side of the table. It's going to be the first diamond on the short rail and the third diamond on the long rail. For doing a cut shot, there's multiple ways to actually make the ball into the corner pocket. There's some of them you can say they use a ghost method. As you can see, this is the ghost method. I have a cue ball right in front of the one ball itself. And you see, this is where the contact point is. But if you rotate going this way, you will actually see this is a quarter ball hit from before. And I'll show you how we get the quarter ball hit and how to get into that side, side picture. When you're aiming at the object ball, from the cue ball, you can actually see this ghost ball is covering a quarter of that object ball, telling you this will be a quarter ball hit going into your corner pocket. And I'll show you an example of how I actually do this. With the aid of this makeshift training aid I made, you can see I have put the object ball and the cue ball here. The cue ball is gonna be the ghost ball, and this is fully eclipsing it, so it goes into this corner pocket. But when we rotate the camera, to the front of it, and you will see that it covers a quarter ball hit, and then I shall, and I'll explain how we get lines to it to make sure that we are hitting a quarter ball hit. The object ball and the cue ball is hidden by a quarter each, as you can see, and as you remove this ghost ball, this is gonna be your quarter ball hit. This is the only thing you'll be aiming at. This is gonna be the contact point, and this is where we'll be splitting the difference. And I'll show you what I'm doing when I'm actually making this object ball into this corner pocket. When I do my cut shots, I do a modified CTE. That means it's center to edge aiming system. What I'm doing, like I said before, how I know this is a quarter ball hit. I'm aiming at the right side of the cue, uh, cue ball into, they call this the A side. Then you'll see this center line will be actually over here. It won't be actually hitting the edge. But as you can see, if I aim this, if you go back to the cue ball, you will see that this is perfectly a quarter ball hit with that, with that shield blocking it. So what I'll be doing is I'm going to be aiming the right side of the cue ball to the A, the quarter ball, on the object ball, and getting the center line of the cue ball where this would be at and this should give me that cut shot, having two lines going into that object ball making this one ball into the corner pocket. For this shot, I have the number two ball on the second diamond on the long rail and the first diamond on the short rail. You guys see me do this, this shot a lot. So this is where the ghost ball is gonna be at. As you can see, this one is eclipsing it going to this corner pocket. With this training aid, this tells me this is a half ball hit. If you put this ghost ball, it actually splits this in half. And that tells me how I should aim this cue ball and object ball with the modified CTE. So I will rotate and show you how I'm aiming this system. So if you go from your cue ball right side to the center line and your center cue ball going to the edge, this tells me this is a half ball hit. And I will show it to you on this side and you will see that you, I am covering exactly half of the ball. I set up the cue stick where it goes lines up perfectly straight to the object ball and the ghost ball where the cue ball is the ghost ball. As you can see, it goes straight to this corner pocket. If we rotate, your camera angle where it's going where I, where I want you to hit before for the original cue ball you'll see that this is covering half of the object ball and this is right on the half mark so we can do a center to edge aiming system for this shot the way I would do it is I will get the cue ball the very edge of the cue ball and aim it at the center of the object ball. Then the center of the cue ball, I would aim it at the edge of the object ball. This gives me that center to edge aiming system. So this would look like this, 
and then I would aim it, and this tells me this is a half ball hit, to do a half ball hit, and make it to the corner pocket. The last shot I did was a half ball hit. That was when the cue ball was on the first diamond on the short rail and the third diamond on the long rail. But if I move the cue ball on the second diamond on the short rail and the third diamond on the long rail, this perception now becomes a three-fourth ball hit. If I move this ghost ball, you will see that this opens up to a three-fourth ball hit. To do this shot, I would aim the right side of the cue ball, where they call it on the CTE, where this would be C, and the center of the cue ball to the edge of the object ball and giving me that line. This gives me that perception, hey, this is a three-fourths ball hit, and that's where I'm gonna aim at, and this should give me my cut shot into the corner pocket. One thing about this aiming system that I use, as you can see, it's all by perception. So this ghost ball was always gonna be fixed. If the cue ball was a half ball hit, it was placed over here. But you suddenly shift it over here, this gives me a three, balls, three fourths hit. As, as you move around the table, you will only see so much of your object ball and your cue ball making your lines aiming from your edge to A, B, or C. And I'll show you how I get the A, B, and C and getting the center ball going to the edge itself. For this shot, this is also a three-fourths ball hit. I have your ghost ball lined up exactly right in front of the object ball going to this corner pocket where the cue ball is on the third diamond on the long rail and the first diamond on the short rail. You can see the line of aim. If you move going the camera to this side, we will see that this is gonna be covering three-fourths of the ball itself. If you look at your perception going this way, this will be on a three-fourths hit. So you have your ghost ball here, it barely hits the edge of this, but the way I get my A, B, and C, if I replace this by a strike ball, as you can see this, this is gonna be perfectly right on the, where we call it the C mark, and it is right on that strike. The center line is your B, this outside portion of the strike is gonna be your A, making this A, B, and C. So this tells me I have to get the right side of the cue ball to the C mark, the center of the cue ball to the edge and gives me that center to edge aiming system. And this makeshift center and edge um, device I made, it helps me see these lines. From this perception, if you line up your edge of the cue ball to the C of the object ball, you'll see it goes straightly to this line right here. And if you aim the, the center of the cue ball and aim it to the edge of the object ball, you'll see that they mate perfectly and this gives you that center to edge aiming system. The way I would aim this 10 ball into the corner pocket, I would get the cue ball's edge and aim it to the C or the stripe of the object ball. Then I will get the center of the cue ball, aim it to the edge of the 10 ball, giving me that center to edge aiming system. Once I get that aiming system, this gives me the lineup to make this object ball into the corner pocket. The last shot I did was a 3 4 ball hit. But if we rotate this cue ball to the half diamond on the long rail, you'll notice that the perception has changed. This is now a half ball hit. You can see this is where the ghost ball is. I didn't move this at all. This is still on the three fourths of the line. But if you line this cue ball up to the edge, this edge will line up to the B or the center of the object ball. And the edge will also line up to the edge of the object ball. making this a center to edge aiming system and without any movement of this template and this tells me it's a half ball hit. The way I would get the nine ball into the corner pocket, I would get the edge of the cue ball and aim it 
at the center of the object ball. Then I will get the center of the cue ball and aim it at the edge of the object ball, giving me my alignment. If I get, once I get my alignment, I should make the snipe ball into that corner pocket with a half ball hit. I just did a brief explanation on how I do my cut shots. Just remember, when you get a strike ball, the outside edge of the strike is going to be A, the center of the object ball is going to be B, the opposite side is going to be C. The A, B, and C just determines where your cue ball is going to line up for the edge, giving you that center to edge aiming system. I hope this video is informative. Stay tuned. We're going to continue on cut shots, and thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe me. Don't forget the thumbs up. Bye bye.